today, this is uh, Yesterday Happens Today, Tomorrow's Already Here. This is a three-person show of New England-based contemporary artists. Uh, we've got a woodworker, a textile artist, and a painter in egg tempera. So do, do they have anything in, in common? Um, so these are, they're three sort of young female artists who are working completely separately in completely different media in different parts of New England, but all of them are making work that is contemporary in nature and contemporary in content and really tightly tied to historical artistic processes. And uh, this is your, the, the first uh, exhibit. This is our, yeah, our opening exhibit for the fall. Um, at Wellesley College, the art department the studio art program and the art history program are really closely allied and we wanted a show to open the year that kind of merged those two areas of study. So these are contemporary artists working in the studio art realm, but because their processes are really tightly tied to art history, it has something to, that'll speak to the art history classes we're offering this semester. So this is part of you trying of integrating all the, the different uh, departments in a way. Yeah, it just, it seemed like a really nice way to kind of start the year and to, you know, this is the first year we've been a little more open to the public since the pandemic happened. So we wanted something that really spoke to as many aspects of the art department as possible. What direction are you going to be taking this uh, in the upcoming year? So we actually already have a full slate of exhibitions for the year. Um, we have this show here, which is Outside Artists. We have a couple upcoming shows of Wellesley alums who have left the college and in recent years have been making sort of more and more finalized work that we're bringing back. Um, we'll have our senior exhibition at the end of the year, which is our big showcase for student art. And we're actually gonna have for the first time in at least a decade, maybe longer, uh, a staff show to kind of showcase the work that's being made at Wellesley College by working artists here. So this is uh, the t our textile artist, Sophia de Jesus Sabella. Uh, she's based out of Hartford, Connecticut. And she is someone who works with traditional hand weaving techniques. So she has a manual loom, it's an enormous manual loom in her studio. Um, and she makes these incredible textiles and does some very strange and funny things with them. This particular piece uh, is actually a collaboration between her and a stoneware artist who made the paddles. Um, but the net is a hand woven net. The sort of playing surface here is a hand woven tapestry. Um, just woven you know from scratch from cotton yarn and the piece is really talking about like use and play and what are the lines between something that has a use value and something that is useless is something funny is it pathetic is something talking to a history of like leisure or a history of labor can it speak to both these things at the same time um, so there's a lot going on here it's kind of surrealistic it's kind of silly, it's also very serious, um, which is something that this particular artist does really well. All right, so these are, um, this is one of the paintings by Magdalena Pawlowski, um, who's another Connecticut-based painter. Um, and she's working in egg tempera, which is pretty unusual these days. Uh, it's a medium that was used historically. It was kind of the primary paint in use in Europe before uh, the Renaissance when oil paint became more popular. Uh, it's a really, really fussy medium. It's made with egg yolks um, and pigment, uh, and it is water soluble, dries crazy fast, so it's really hard to mix colors because as soon as you put it on the palette, it dries out. Um, the surfaces are really delicate, which made it very nerve-wracking to install because they scratch very easily. Um, and there's a lot of, you'll see artists using like hatching and layering colors next to each other instead of mixing them. So even though the work is contemporary, right, these are contemporary still lives, they're done using the same techniques that like pre-Renaissance artists were using. And you can look at like paintings in the MFA made in egg tempera and identify some of the same techniques that Magdalena is using today. So uh, why do you think she, she chose that medium? So there is something about like the rigor of that that helps her relate to these subjects, right? She wants to speak a little bit to the history of still life painting. And so she was looking for a medium that would allow her to do that. She wants to spend time with the scenes and to make that time really visible in the piece. And so she chose a medium that makes it really obvious that she had to like labor at this repeatedly, that she had to spend the time to make the pigment to adjust the pigment because again, mixing colors is really difficult. Um, and then to layer it up in this really slow way where instead of mixing the pigments directly, you have to figure out how to put them next to each other on the surface. 
was thinking that uh, everything will be easy after this. <laughs> Yeah, or, you know, every, everything in life just seems easier after you've worked in egg tempera. Uh, so this is a piece by Aspen Golan. Um, she was based up in Maine. I think she might be in New Hampshire now, but definitely still in New England. Um, and she's a woodworker. So this is someone working today, but who was trained in um, 17th to 19th century traditional woodworking techniques. Um, and so this particular piece, this broom, is referencing real objects. It's referencing this kind of uh, symbolic marriage broom that you know is obviously not used today, but was a historical object. But it has been made stranger. It has had additions to it. Um, and Aspen is in making this piece and in sort of strangifying this piece. She's asking people to think about the line between use and non-use, kind of similarly to uh, Sophia and you know, where is the place of women and children in woodworking and labor. Um, you know, brooms historically were made by women for women. And so with Aspen coming in today, when this is mostly an industrial process and taking it back to the hand and back to the studio and taking charge of it as like a master craftsperson, where does that cite her in this lineage of labor? So the next exhibit is going to be a two-person show, um, Jion Lee and Breslin Bell. These are both Wellesley alums from the class of 2018 uh, who won a grant to continue their work. They're doing very different work. Um, Jion does sort of big experiential installations and Breslin does uh, printmaking and sort of bodily sculptures. So we're really excited to see how they interact in the space and what they bring back to Wellesley. Wait, when will that be? That will be uh, mid-October and it'll be open through kind of mid-December, uh, right before winter break.